Church so today, this is that I've been washed in baptism and was anointed with holy anointed oil. And Jesus said, yeah, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And who also liveth and believeth in me, he shall never die. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the last day upon the earth. And after my sin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see the Lord. Eternal God is our dwelling place, and the need of the everlasting hand. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord, or whether we die, we die unto the Lord. That's God's statement. So whether we live, or whether we die, we belong to God. We brought nothing into this world. I want to read that portion again. We brought nothing into this world. And it's certain we carry nothing in our The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Body of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, have nothing to fear. But thou art with me, thy rod and thy star, they will comfort us. Hallelujah. In the Lord. We are gathered here today to do honor and to pay our respect to this, our dear beloved, who parted that to the Holy Morris. We are gathered here today to pay our respect to our dead, that they will be part of the dead. Queen Morris, who has died. Her passing away affects us all in one way or the other. We have here, we have been reminded of the reality of how short is our existence here on earth and the frivolity of our mortal being. We are here to give her her last rites in thanking Almighty God together for her life and for our continuing lives. We are here to listen again to some of the great words of the Christian faith and to renew our trust in God and in the words of his son Jesus Christ who has said, I am the resurrection and the life. Therefore, notwithstanding the similarity of this moment, but in full trust and hope for a better life in eternity, let us praise God with joyful hearts today. As I declare this service officially open, let us sing a song. And our hymn will be, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross, and which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss, and poor contempt, and all my pride. When I Survey And read the prince 
Hallelujah. We will now say the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. He was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day rose again from the dead. He ascended up into heaven and sent the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he will come to judge both the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spiritual Church, the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with us all and with thy spirit. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. As we do the prayer. O oh God, the Lord of life, the conqueror of death, our help in every time of trouble, Who does not willingly grieve, nor afflict the children of men. Comfort us, you moon, and give us the grace in the presence of death to worship thee, that we may have show hope of eternal life, and be enabled to put all our whole trust in thy goodness and mercy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
the service today is officially open. And we'll go to our hymn sheet and our opening remarks. And then our reverend will bring us his prayer. Today, my brothers and friends, family and relatives, as we all come here today to pay our last tribute, our last respect to Corrine Maris. Corrine was born to me and Mrs. Signet Maris. She was the first, she was the fourth child from my line. But today, God has called her from time and to eternity. God knows the trouble or the pain what she was going through. And God called her in a youthful youth. How many of us today are preparing ourselves for death? We live as we like. We talk as we like. We go places as we like. But one thing we cannot do, we cannot get into heaven as we like. You have to be a born again to get into the kingdom of God. Because the old patriarch tell us, Paul said to us, if I die, I die unto the Lord. And if I live, I live unto the Lord. So whether I die or whether I live, I belong to who? To God. God is the man who gives life. But today men are taking one another life for nothing. The minute time you get into an argument with somebody, the minute time that the time Satan is tempting you to, and you know what he's telling you? Get rid of him, man. Kill him. And when you yield to Satan, and you commit your crime, you alone in the trouble. If even though nobody don't see you, somebody sees. And that is God. It may be done here or not, but it is not finished in heaven. Because God has a record book up there. And every one of us, name is written in that Lamb's book of life. Because I think I hear John tell me that this come in. When all those who are sleeping down in the grave, they are going to open their eyes. Some are going to receive everlasting life and some are going to receive damnation. But I want to encourage us today. As Solomon, the great writer, tell us in Ecclesiastes 12, 1. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth. Now that the evil days are upon us, we may be able to say, I have no pleasure in them. So he tell me in verse 7, he said, Then shall the dust return to the earth. And the spirit goes back to God, who giveth it. And he tells us, let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. And you know what is the whole conclusion of the matter? Is to fear God and to keep his commandments. If we keep God's commandments and we obey God, we will have right to the tree of life. When the morning come, even though warm destroy this our mortal body, one morning we are going to be risen again. And only those, only those who have a clean hands and a pure heart, they are going to be stand. So I'm encouraging you mothers today, and fathers who have your children, love your children them. 
If even today you have nothing to, to give you, show them love. Because love is the fruit of God, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your patience. And I now call on Reverend Hamilton to do his opening prayer. Thank you, my dear Reverend. Let us stand, please, church. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, Lord, for coming here this afternoon. Lord, as we come this afternoon, Father, not of our own strength, but because of your will. Father, I bring the family that mourn at this time. I ask you to comfort them if thou be so well, please. Almighty God, from whom all hearts are open, all desire known, and from whom no secret are hidden. Cleanse thou the thoughts of our heart that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. We'll go to our hymn sheet and we'll sing our first hymn there when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word. But the glory we will shed on our way while we do his good will, he will abide with us still and with all those who will trust and obey him. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way while we do Then we not a sorrow we share, not a sorrow we share, but our toil, but our toil, he do a trade, share with him, not wrong, not a cross, not a wrong, not a wrong, not a wrong. Send me, never fear on the trust. 
Him tell us what he say we will do. How many of us listen to me, church? How many of us are doing the will of God today? Many of us have, and we think it out to share with somebody else. We prefer to try it outside. And then we tell Christ, what you say, I will do. And, and we ain't doing it. We to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. That's the only way we can be happy today in, in this life. When we have Jesus, we have it all. When we have Jesus, we have a gold mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. We have our fourth scripture lesson. Reading from 2 Timothy. Chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. Our first scripture lesson, reading from 1 Timothy, chapter 6, chapter 4, sorry, reading from verse 6 to verse 8. For I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteousness judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. The end. That scripture read, lesson was read by Corinne's daughter. Both of you, those who doesn't know. We have a special song here from Miss Jennifer Charles, a friend of Corinne. Miss Jennifer Charles. Today will be your last 
that I have to say goodbye to you so fast. I'm so numb, I can't feel anymore. Praying you just walk back to that door. But I hold you as close as I can. Longing for the day when I see your face again. But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight. Your love live on inside of me and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question, only God knows why. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. You always made my troubles feel so small. And you are always there to catch me when I fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as long as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel Around the throne tonight The love live on inside of me And I will hold on tight Not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. Sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight i'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight we have our our next hymn here in peace like a river attended my way when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot that was taught me to say, it is well with my soul. When peace like a river attended my It 
it is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. Oh, the bless of this glory. My say nothing part, my say nothing part, but the whole, but the whole nail to the cross, it nail to the cross, and I gave no more, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. I hope it is well with our soul today. I do hope that all of us who are here, it will be well with our soul. In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God leadeth their children along. When a cold water bed out, where we want be, God lead their children along. Some children would die, some children blood, oh, some children fire, all children blood, some children.
come to get church David said I will bless the Lord at all times his prayer shall be continually in my mouth my soul shall make a boast in the Lord not in man I don't want to make no boast in man I want to make a boast in the Lord my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall see and be glad thereof. Oh, magnify. Today we come to magnify the Lord. We don't come to mourn for the dead. The dead already done dead. Mm -hmm. the Lord. We have our next scripture reading here. Then by Anik John, Revelation 21, verse 1 to 6. Hallelujah. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Hallelujah. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. 
and and I John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be in his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Yes. And God shall wipe away wipe all tears, tears from yeah. their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be pain. any more pain. For the former the things are passed away, them. and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I, I make all things finished. new. And he said unto me, For these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of, of life freely. Here ended the scripture reading. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, the Lord shall wipe away all tears from my My journey will be ended, oh, darling. Wipe away all tears. Children, the Lord shall wipe away. It's only when we get to heaven that the tears will be wiped away. That's what John tells me in the book of Revelation 7. He says, saw a great multitude of every nation, king, your tongues, and people which no man could have numbered. No man on earth could number them. They were the saints who have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. But when somebody asked him a question, he said, John, who are these? And he said, you know who they are? Yes. And he said, these are those who come out from a great tribulation, church. Come on, church, are you with me? Come out from great tribulation. And I washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, are they before the throne of God to serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sat upon the throne shall dwell among them. And John said, God said, he will feed them. And after feeding the saints, he's going to lead them out unto fountains of living water. And at that fountain, he wiped every tears away from the eyes. Loved ones, there is life after death. There is life. This mortal body goes back to the earth. But the spirit gone back to God to give it. So I don't want nobody to tell me, oh, I see Corinne in me. I see Corinne in me. Corinne can't be seen again. Yes. She cannot be seen again until the day of judgment. That's why Job tell me in the 14th chapter of Job verse 
12, he say, Job asks God a question, he said, if me Job die, will I live again? That's what he wanted to find out from God. If he will live again. And the Lord said, yes, you will live again. But Job said, all my appointed time will I wait. Where? In my grave. Until my change come. The change will come that morning. When God is going to sound the trumpet. And those who die in Christ shall rise up for us. And they will have right to the tree of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. We have our third hymn there. Does Jesus care? Yes, Jesus cares for all of us. Every one of us, he cares for us. Doesn't matter how, how you is God still care for you? Cares for everyone. Does Jesus cares?
all them cares. He cares for all of us. He cares for the lily in the field. He cares for the sparrow that fly in the air. He always there to protect us, shield us from our enemies. When the enemies do to run me, tell me when the enemies come out of, at us one way. God shall make them to flee from us seven other ways. And he said he will make us the head and not the tail. We will be above and not beneath. But he gave us one warning. And the warning is, we will have to lend to many nations. But one thing we mustn't do, don't borrow. You will have to lend, but don't borrow from nobody. That's what... Deuteronomy tell me, don't bury at all. You will be above and not beneath. You will be the head and not the tail. And he tell us again we mustn't go aside from none of his words. You know, plenty, plenty people, plenty, plenty of us spiritual Baptists leave the spiritual Baptist faith. And they gone and they assembled with our denomination. But I want to tell you, if you didn't find Jesus in the Baptist faith, you wouldn't find it nowhere else. Because God is here, there, and everywhere. You make us a pledge to God. Just like when you married a woman. You make a pledge. You make a covenant. By the time you break your covenant, you are guilty of an act. You are guilty of an act because you break your covenant. You didn't hold out to your covenant. Amen. And the lesson tells me here, I own the debt, have to separate a married couple. Oh, yeah. And God says, what I join together, let no man Amen. put asunder. Amen. But many of us leave with wife, we leave with husband and we gone. The like one given sheep gone all about. Oh, yeah. Wondering for what? You got the same food home and you gone outside going to other food? We have a, a um, tribute from a friend in England. And this by, will be done by her daughter, Shelleen McNichols. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my dear. Um, I will be doing this tribute on behalf of my mom. She couldn't make it to the funeral because she is currently out of the country. And then afterwards, I'll be trying to sing a song on my behalf. Corinne and I, we have been friends for over 20 years. However, to me, she was more than a friend, but a loving sister. Her juvenile spirit and her contagious smile will forever be in my memory. <laughs> Whenever I would say something, she would laugh and laugh and say, Elsa, girl, you're not easy. If I had anything to do, and I called Corrine, no matter where she was, she would always make herself present. 
She never complained. She never fussed about it. She would just always be present. She would say to me, Elsa, if my mother head hurts her and your head hurts you, I would run to you. And that's just because of the type of relationship we shared together. Since leaving St. Vincent, she would communicate, we would communicate almost every other day. We never stopped talking. She never stopped sending voice notes. Corrine always had some good words of encouragement to share with me. And I would keep all these voice notes and memories between us. I will miss her really very much. To Chanel and to the others, I just want to tell you, I just want to encourage you all to be strong in the Lord and keep the faith. We know that the Lord give it and he take it away. Hallelujah. We have lost a very good friend, a mother, a sister, an aunt, and a grandmother. However, we must remember that God is in control and he knows best. I know I will miss her a lot, and I'm sorry I'm not here to attend the funeral service today. May your soul rest in peace, my dear friend. I would always love you. Hallelujah. I know your life on earth was troubled, and only you can know the pain. You weren't afraid to face the devil. You were no stranger to the rain. So go as high on the mountain. Cause love your work on earth is done. Go to The day you left us, we gathered around your grave to grieve. Wish I could see the angels' faces when they hear your sweet voice sing. Go as high on that mountain, cause love your work on earth is done. Go to heaven and shout in love for the fire. Thank you. Thank you, dear daughter. We have a tribute here by Rachel Charles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. To the Maris family, our deepest condolences to you. <clears throat> Maybe a road we have to travel, so that's why mother time come to go. I know is the time for my sorrows, 
Fashi. She's gone forevermore. So I can stop the tears now for mother. And I can stop the child from crying. Oh, I can stand to see mother grave. And I don't know if mother was saved. Maybe the great day of mother and maybe eternally she won't cry for I hate all the memories to remember when mother took sick and when she died but I can't hold um, the tears now for mother um, and I can stop the others from crying oh I can stand to see mother's grave and I don't know if mother was saved but there be a great day of judgment when mother will be standing before God. I don't know if she has repented, but she will give God a comfort soul. But I can't stall the tears now for mother, and I can't stop the others from crying. Oh, I can't stand to see. The grave, and I don't know if mother was saved, but I can't hold the tears now for mother, and I can't stop. The others from crying. Oh, I can stand to see mother's grave, and I don't know if mother was saved. But I can't hold the tears of mother, and I can't stop the others from crying. Oh, I can't stop to see mother. I don't know if 
Hallelujah. None of us know. Jesus knows. He alone knows. We can only just predict, but we don't know. One man knows everything about us, and it's God. He knows what is inside. The scripture tell me that Jesus knows what is inside of us. Before we can utter one word out of our mouth, he don't know what we are going to say. Oh, see. We have our third scripture reading here. Our third scripture reading will be done by Keturia Stapleton. And stop to see Mother's Queen. Good evening, everybody. Scripture readings taken from St. John chapter 14, verse 1, 6, and 27. Verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. Verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto me. Unto the Father, but by me. Sorry. And verse 27, it reads, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Let not our hearts be troubled. You are broken in heart today. Cheer up. Hope is on the way. Help is on the way. Because Jesus said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be a friend to you even unto the hour of your death. He will be a friend to us. That's why the hymn writer could tell us what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins, all our griefs, and our pain to bear. What a privilege. We have the privilege now to carry everything to God in prayer. Are you going to wait until you're on your sick bed of affliction? Are you wasting the time away now? Now is the time to make a, a check on our lives and to take up our mantle and to put on, pull up our sacks and look down the road to see how far you are from God. Loved ones, I don't think you are studying it, you know. But you see how much, how much pass, souls pass from this district here? You see how much soul gone home, home to us? Nobody know who next. No one of us knows. The days of our years are three years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be forced go here, yet is your strength labor and sorrow it will soon cut off. And then you will fly away. But David encouraged us in Psalm 90, verse 12. He said, Lord, teach me to number my days. Hallelujah, church. That I may apply my heart unto your wisdom. Oh, satisfy me all with your mercy. That I will rejoice and be glad all the days of my life. Make me glad according to the days wherein I've seen evil. And the years wherein. And let your walk now appear unto my hand. Amen. Young people, take stock of your life. Amen. Old one, take stock of our lives. Middle age, stay stock of our lives. Our life is just like a wind that blow. Because I remember in one of the Nelson West Indian reading school tell me who have seen the wind. 
neither you nor I. But when we see the trees, trim, hum, humbling, we know that wind is passing by. Our life is just a vapor. The minute we're here, the same minute we're gone. Take stock of your life. Now is not, not, not the time to play churchy, churchy. Now is the time to surrender. Go to Jesus and say, oh, to Jesus. I surrender. Oh, to you. I freely give. I will ever love and trust you in your presence daily. I want to live. I don't want to live my life and to live it in vain. I don't want to leave no unfinished task behind. I don't want nobody to throw no, no stone and no pebble in my children and my grandchildren them face. When I gone, I want good report. I have to leave good report behind that could follow my children and my grandchildren and my great grand. Take stock of our life. Time is running out. Men today love darkness rather than light because you know why? Their deeds. Their deeds are evil. So they don't want to come to the light. Because if you come to the light, you know your deeds are going to make manifest. So you hard to hard time want to have it covered down. But one day it will come up. It will come up. Hallelujah. We have a song here. I have a friend. Don't you know you have a friend? Come on, let me see all the hands who up in the air who know they got a friend. We all have a friend. <laughs> and that friend is the unseen one whom we cannot see. But we know his presence is here with us today. We just only say, oh, I love Jesus, you know. But deep down in our heart, we have, watch now. Deep down in our heart, we have corruption in our heart. Deep down inside there, you know, and we come to church, we stand up and say, oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Choose, praise the Lord. And the minute time you go out from the church and someone touch you too, you don't start to curse. John said, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I understand as a child. But when I became a man, when you became a man or a woman, you have to put away childish action. You're no more child anymore. You have to start to think positive. You have to start to think as a woman or a man. You don't have no more childish action in you again. So we all have a friend, ain't eh? Hallelujah, church. Amen. We all have a friend. I have a friend. A precious friend. Oh, he loves me. Say love will never end. He says his love will I cannot tell. Why should come? I cannot tell. Oh, how he loves me, man. Why? In my poor broken heart to 
dwell my pogo can I do oh how he loves me oh how he loves me oh how he loves me So from that, he died to save my soul from death. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, he I will praise him when he lend me bread. Praise him while today Oh, 
And after the eulogy, I have my dear Reverend here, and then the sister of Corinne would like to say something. So Mr. Holder will bring us the eulogy in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Bishop Newton Ashton. Good afternoon to Reverend. Francis Hamilton. I recognize Sister Signet Roberts and all of Corinne's siblings and the rest of the Morris family. My deepest condolence to you. I recognize the many elderly among us from this beautiful village and especially those from this particular area called Hog Hole. I recognize that we have those who are resident now in Hagol, and I welcome back Sister Sanja to Hagol as well. Yes. <laughs> Brother Holder, get home safely. This, uh, these were the words that Corinne would often say to me as I try to navigate this pathway where my navel string was buried so many years ago. So I would forever remember this beautiful lady for these kind words of encouragement. Today we honor the life and times of a wonderful black and shining woman of Spring Village who possess many virtuous qualities. This woman was simpler in appearance, yet beautiful in heart. Her life exemplifies that little is much when God is in it. This black woman was short in stature, yet tall in kindness. Her life demonstrated that the fruits of the heart still brightens a dark corner. This jet black woman had very little material things, yet offered many a helpful hand to many a person every day. Her life reflected that it is still more blessed to give than to receive. Today, this simple, short, jet black woman whose life repose to celebrate is our very own Corinne Morris. Corinne, who passed away on Tuesday, the 19th of July this year, lived for a total of 18,947 days. 
Corinne was born on, on Thursday, the 3rd of September, 1970, right here in St. Vincent. She was the first fruit of the womb of Signet Morris. Corinne loved her mother with a passionate heart. Knowing, her heart, knowing the heart of my friend Corinne was filled with gratitude. I feel confident to stand before you and to borrow from the words of Calypsonian Beckett to say on behalf of my dear departed friend Corinne, thank you, Mama Signet, for the pain you bear. Thank you, Mama Signet, for the love and care. Thank you, Mama Signet, for all the fight and fight you fight to raise me without Papa and all the old cloth you used to make diaper. Thank you, Mama Signet. Corinne grew up right here in her hole, right there. She was the darling of her grandmother, Mama Comsey, and the handbasket of Aunt Polita. During her late teen years, Corinne left Spring Village and took up residency on the windward side of St. Vincent. There she found love. The love relationship multiplied her womb three folds. Thus, she became a mother to two beautiful daughters and one handsome son. Corinne loved her children dearly. She had, much, she had not much money, but like good old mother hen, Corinne stretched out wide her wings of love and care and made that motherly sacrifice for her two girls and one boy. To you, Felicia, Chanel, and Philroy, take it from me. Your mama Corinne loved you. Your mama Corinne meant the best for you. Although your mama Corinne had no money, your mama Corinne cared for you as much as any rich person could have done. Felicia, Chanel, and Philroy, may the beauty, beautiful legacy of your departed Mama Corinne lives on long in your life. At age 51, Corinne was a grandmother of five. May the rewards of her kind deeds renown to her grandchildren throughout their sojourn here on earth. Corinne adored her siblings equally well. She loved her brothers and her one sister that she had with her mother. And she had four or um, five other siblings as well, I was told. She loved her birth. She loved her cousin, her Bernard. She loves the youngest one, Roberts, as well. She loved all of them dearly. I know that they would miss Corinne because Corinne meant the world to them. Corinne obtained her education at the Spring Village Methodist School and the Barley Secondary School. Miranda would say yes. As a student, Corinne efforts reflected deep intelligence. Miranda would say yes. Corinne learned fast. Miranda would say yes. Throughout her school years, Corinne assisted many of her classmates with their homework and classwork. And again, Miranda would say yes. yes. Oftentimes, she got nothing in return, save a few times when classmates bought her a sugar cake or a fudge or a tart. On a few other occasions, Corinne received a shilling for assisting classmates with writing notes, uh, giving them some answer when the teachers were not looking. <laughs> and someone said that true, in the old Juba style. 
Attending the Barley Secondary School, Corinne did not have many things to support her education as others did. This, however, does not bother Corinne one bit. She was a ver in every conversation, whether it meant talking from Mangaro to Barley in Dixon School Bus. She was often the one who would run to the shop to buy butter bread for the other student while we await the bus from Kingston at Churchgate in Barley. I could still remember vividly seeing Corinne in her oversized blouses walking proudly through the gates of the old Barley Secondary School eager to learn. Like the typical Joba woman, Corinne delighted in performing household chores. She cooked with energy and rhythm. She cleans with style and melody. And she washed with pride and dignity. Corinne was indeed an efficient keeper of the home. Corinne loved to cook. Given a chance, Corinne will cook from morning to night every day. Whether it be pillow or stew, whether it be boiling or callaloo, Corinne was good at it. She cooked just about every local dish to perfect taste. Corinne enjoyed cleaning too. From kitchen to bathroom, from bedroom to living room, from a spoon to the toilet bowl, Corinne cleaned them all. Corinne delighted in washing as well. Someone just had to say, Jenny gone a river, and after the river, Corinne will dash. And when she gets to the river, she would give Jenny a stern rebuke. You know, you not care how, not care how Jenny run from Corinne, she still would find Jenny. <laughs> eh eh, like you know why me help you? What happened? Me now wash them clean enough, Gio. Uh, uh, that why you gone a river and not call me, but I will still find you anyway. <laughs> Such was the helpful and kindness of Corinne. The reality is, every time Jenny goes to the river, now, she would hear Corinne in every strip, strip so hand make. She would hear the voice of Corinne. Please, Jenny. Don't leave your clothes and say, God will help me. You need to find another Corinne. Once Green Peas was in, you were sure to find Corinne in no other place than in Cleon Peas Field. <laughs> she helped Cleon pick peas from morning to dusk. And at nights, you are bet to show to meet Corinne standing on Signet front door with buckets shelling peas. Corinne was never afraid to tell you exactly as she saw it, yet she held no malice. If you knew Corinne well, you know what it means to be kind and helpful. If you knew Corinne well, you know what it means to persevere in the face of challenges, and she did have her own buckets of challenges, but complain was not her company. If you knew Corinne well, you know what it means to offer words of encouragement even when your own life is riddled with difficulties. Our departed sister was compassionate, loving, and friendly. She put everyone before herself, be it friends or family. That attitude meant we never felt anything other than love from our dear sister Corinne. She formed friendships easily with people wherever she went. She was also known for always giving that encouraging words to everyone she met. I am sure Abigail, Elsa, Elsa Corrud, Evis from Richland Park can attest to this fact of Corinne living. We surely would miss our sister, our mother, our grandmother, our friend, 
our aunt. Corinne, we would miss her dearly. But may her legacy live on forever in the hearts of all of us who met, work with, and knew Corinne. She was truly a pleasant woman who impacted lives. May this black, shining, juba woman rest in peace. Thank you. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, we all get the eulogy, the life story of Corinne, which she was my fourth daughter. Hallelujah. I, have, I love all my children. I have five children, five girls. And I love all my children them. But everything, God knows everything. And so at this time, I have a tribute here from my granddaughter over in Canada. And she's going to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. Hi, my name is Pedro. I am Corinne's niece. Hi, I'm Latoya. I'm Corinne's niece. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Corinne's nephew. So we are here to do the scripture reading, which will be taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. Rest, Rest in, in peace, peace Auntie, Auntie Corinne. We, we love, love you always. A pleasant good afternoon to each and everyone. Who don't know, I am Corinne's sister. And I did love my sister. When you see come from my sister Corinne, I love her. I don't have to wait until she died to say I love her. 
the greetings alone that we greet her out could tell me that my sister loved me and I love her. And today, in everything, we have to give God thanks. We have to give God thanks. We can't question God. Up to now, I can't catch the grip of my sister. Because me and my sister talked the Friday. I give her a joke, she laughed. And she explained to me. And by the Tuesday, when I heard the death of my sister, I can't believe. But never mind. Corinne and I, she is my only sister in Spring Village. And if you hear Vivian, let's boast and tell anybody. Me have one sister and one body at Spring Village. That a Corinne. Because me love my sister. And when you hear come from my children and them, my children and they love their auntie and tail. From the big, from top to bottom, Auntie Corinne. Auntie Corinne. And today, we have to give God thanks. Felicia, uh, Felicia, um, Chanel, and Phil Roy live together. Love one another. You heard out here? Call one another. Discuss. You hear people also say when mother dead or when whoever dead, family done. That's not true. That's not true. Love one another. If today this is the last thing all your auntie have to tell all you, love one another. Love one another. Jesus gone to prepare a mansion for me. Far, far away, oh God, I see. There be no sorrow, there be no more pain. Jesus gone to prepare a mansion for me. Jesus gone to prepare. Say a pleasant good afternoon to this half whole girl, Juba girl, Mama King girl. A pleasant good afternoon to everybody. I must say a pleasant good afternoon and thanks to my friends and neighbor that made me up for the trip to come here from Lager Heights, especially to my golden girls, Nayoka and Rita. I gave them all the thanks. I must say, I know Corinne. Well, saying that I've been done, you know, she done her, and I was kind of wrong at nine and ten years by no good. But what I know about Corinne, Corinne was a manly child. Sometimes I hear, Tante Sanjo, when me look wrong at Corinne. Sometimes me just walk from how you know me, and me back turn. And she gonna call always, anywhere she meet me in town. It's, Santi Sandra. Singnet stand up. Some of my people they want to know. And me and Singnet is brother and sister children. Yes. This is Corinne mommy. And we are, well, Singnet and never rail me up. Mama, look, you're going to river. That is how they used to have me. And Singnet, these days, I used to hear Mama say, let me, let me put the two pieces of thing in a bag and put them for when they're ready for burying. But remember now, is ch mother bearing children, not children bearing mother these days. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. God is good and in all his ways, you're gonna remember Corinne, you know. Acknowledge your ways to God. Acknowledge your ways to God. Me can't really sing, you know. But me I try a little thing here, one verse, eh? I saw me stop and ask them. The, I listen here. The glad time, the trumpet, so loud and so clear. We echo, 
We shall no we Hello I when me say me say eh <laughs> When me go wrong The glad time the trumpet so loud and so clear we shout thee we echo oh shine like that day when the mighty 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 trumpet song come come away oh I'll just address a little chorus and God is good. They said, Job a girl, Job a girl, come a job. And I can't get Job a girl a shout out. Come out, come out, shout out, Job a girl. Come on. Tempted and tried me, have me to wonder why it should be thus. All the day long. Why did I others live in a pound? Never molested, chewing the wrong. Father along knows all about it. Father along me understand why. Cheer up my brother live in the sunshine we'll understand it all by in time. Oh, when death shall come and take in a love, it leaves our home. It leaves our home. So lonely and dread. Lonely and dread. Then do we wonder today? Then do we wonder? Why let us prosper? They're living so wickedly. We Father along me, Father along me, no doubt about Father along me, he understand what you know. Tell up the brothers and sisters, my, my brother, they live in the sunshine. You'll understand. Stand it all oh, by and by. You say him of the faithful till that faithful till death. Says a loving master. A few more days to labor and wait. To labor. Tied up the road seems just as nothing. Tied up the road well. When we see true man, when we see true, the beautiful gate, beautiful gate. Oh, yeah, Father, alone. What about Father, alone? He will understand why. Stand why. Tear up me, brothers and sisters, man. My brother, live in the sun. He'll understand it. He'll understand it. And when we see Jesus one day, when we see Jesus coming in glory, when he come from his home in the sky, 
from Swami. Oh, men. Then he will be the center in, then he will be there. In the bread mansion, in the bread. He will understand it. He'll understand it. God by him. Father, a long way, Father. Knows all about it. Father, a long way. Understand what? Oh, cheer up, my God. He'll understand it all by and by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Only God alone knows why. Before I bring my sermon, I was asked to give out greetings to the children, grandchildren, mother, brothers and sisters from my son-in-law up in Canada. He sent his love to everybody. And this man, Mr. Delplesh, he always used to ask me anytime I go by him, what about Corinne? My son in the love all of my children them. All my grandchildren. Today I'm sorry that he is not here to attend this funeral. But God knows everything best. Everything is in the hand of Almighty God. And God promised one morning I will wipe every tears away from your eyes. Today is a day of mourning. Today is a day of joyful. But today, we are mourning today because we lost our dear loved ones who we are not going to see no more. No more we are not going to see her anymore until the day of resurrection. If while she was as yet alive here or not, and she has lived a life to please God, she will be resurrected from the grave when Jesus comes. I want to say to us today that we all know that we are all born and all of us know that we will die one day. Come on church. Amen. But we don't know the minute, we don't know the hour, we don't know the date that will be going on our death certificate, we don't know the month nor the year, but everything is in God's hand. John, the forerunner, hallelujah church, John the revelator speak to us today, amen, and John was bandished away on the Isle of Patmos at the age of 90 years. And while he was on that Isle of Patmos, he was still in the Spirit. Because the Spirit of the Lord was with him. And as he was there alone, no one to comfort him, no one to give him nothing. No one to offer him a drink of water as much. But he wasn't alone. Because I hear him say, 
Now I am watching, waiting, I'm looking for the bright city that soon coming down. There is a home and a beautiful city. Yes, whose ruler and maker is God. John saw it descending from heaven. Oh, while exile in Patmos shall rule. They know that I've gone to Jesus. Their city is their so gold and knowing they have served it. Oh, and they read of the deed of gold in that bright city. Oh, in bright city. I have mansion up on the crown. Now I am watching, waiting, I'm looking for the bright city that soon. And as he was I am the Isle of Patmos, he heard a voice speak to him. And a voice called him, he said, John, look up into heaven. And as John looked up in heaven, he saw a door open up in heaven. And he said, I saw one like the Son of Man sitting upon the throne from whose face the earth and the heaven flee away. And there was found no room and no place for them. And John said, I John saw the dead small and great, all was standing before God. And I just saw the book, and I saw the book, and the book was open, hallelujah, church. And the dead was judged out of the book according to their works, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The dead was judged out of that book. And whosoever name was not found written there, they was cast into the lake of fire. John 20, verses 11 to 12. But I want to make it plain to us today. He tells us in the 21st chapter of Revelation, and I, John, saw a new heaven, and I saw a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man. We are the tabernacle. We are the tabernacle of God. And God's spirit dwells within us all. Coming down from God out of heaven, adorned as a bride, a dawn for a husband. 
And I heard the voice of behold. God say he make everything new. God promised to wipe out every tears from our eyes. We are crying today. But one day the, our tears will dry away. Our tears are going to wipe away. That's what John said, Jesus said, there will be no more death. That great enemy of ours would be destroyed one day. God is going to put death in its final place one day. There will be no more funeral home coming here. There will be no more death going to no funeral home. Because God will make everything new. And he will wipe out every tears. And he shall be our people. We shall be his people. And he will be our God. And God will wipe away every tears from the eyes. There will be no more death. No pain. No sorrow. No more crying will be there. Pain for the former things are passed away. And all things are going to be made new. Isn't this a great hope? This is a great hope for all of us. What a destiny it is. What a bright picture of tomorrow. It will be a bright picture of tomorrow, my brothers and sisters. Beyond our heartaches, sorrow, and tears, Jesus will come. And he will come as a thief in the night. When you least expect, when you have not thought about him, he will come. Beyond disaster of tribulation, Jesus will come as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He will come as the mighty conqueror. He will come to reign eternally. And the whole world will know it when Jesus comes back to earth. He is not coming for sinners anymore. He is coming for our chosen people. A people who make an everlasting covenant with him. So I want to tell us today, be of good courage. Let not our hearts be troubled. Neither let it be our faith. You believe in God? Believe also in him, not in me. For in his father's house, many a mansion, and if it were not so, he would have told us. But I want to leave with us today the 27th verse. From 14, John said, Jesus said, My peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. May God bless us. And may God keep us. May God make his face to shine upon us. And be gracious unto us. So this evening God is going to bring every works. You, you, you wait on me please. And God will bring every works into judgment.
Ça va bien. and the consolation of the Lord. Manifest to them thy presence, uphold them by thy power, and guide them by thy spirit. Grant them steadfast faith, and show hope in him who is the resurrection and the life of the Lord.
Come into, come into. No. Where you from? Come in the hole. Come in the hole one time. No, you can't ask that. Why my sister and those don't say that? Don't let me get it. You mean just come in the hole one time? Yes, that's one piece. Amen. Wait in the church, yet side by side. Amen. Yalam, no Certainly you carry nothing out of this world. Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave and the Lord take it away. Blessed be is the name of the Lord. Jesus said, All that the Father given me shall come unto me. And him that cometh unto me, I really know why it's past now. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own way, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the will, and this is the Father's will, who have sent me, that after all that he had given me, I should lose nothing but should rise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone that seeth the Son and believeth in him may have the last day life. And I will raise him up at the last day. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom do we seek for succor? But of thee, O Lord, in whom our soul do rest in hope. After labor comes rest. After rest struggle. After peace. After life it will see forever. Yo, no, can we phone up in the hole? For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God of His great mercy to receive unto Himself the soul of our dear sister, Queen Maris, ye who departed, the devil commit her body to the ground, or to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. In so uncertain hope of the resurrection of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who shall change our earthly body, that it may be like unto his glorious body according to the work, mighty working whereby he is able to submit, subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying, right, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Henceforth, blessed indeed, say this spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their deeds shall follow them. Go forth upon thy journey from this world, O Christian soul, in peace, a fame in whom Thou hast the belief in the name of the Father, the Son, in the who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ who suffered for you, in the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthened you. May angels and archangels and all the armies of the heavenly host come to meet thee. May thy portion this day be gladness and peace, and that thy dwelling in paradise go forth upon the journey, let us pray. All glory and thanksgiving be to the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. But thou art in thy mercy, let us give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon himself, and to suffer death upon the cross. For our redemption, we bless thee for the victory we bless thee for that victory over death and the grave, which he had obtained for us and for all who rest in him. And we pray thee to keep thee and keep us in fellowship with all who live for the earth and with all the company of the heavenly of heaven to Jesus Christ our Lord. With the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We now rest in peace with you forever.
Amen. This acknowledgement here, please. The family of the late Corinne Maris wish to express their deepest appreciation for your support and prayers during the time of the evening. May God bless you all and you keep and keep you. May the soul of this departed daughter now rest in peace and let light perpetual shine around her. God be with you till we meet again. All his blessing comes up to you. In his arms we
Je ne sais pas si tu as dit que tu as dit que